Hallelujah. Glory to God. This is Prophetic Intercession with Amel. You're welcome. If this is the first time you're seeing me or deciding to click on my video, thank you so much for making that decision. I pray God blesses you tremendously in the name of Jesus. I pray he uses this channel as a medium of an encounter for you in the name of Jesus. And if this is not your first time, thank you family for always coming back. I love you and I pray for you always. So God gave me a prophetic word for someone. God says, you know the witch. God says, I should tell you, you know the witch. The witch is someone in your household. It's someone that is very close to you. You might want to argue that maybe you don't believe in witches and wizards, but the Bible makes it clear that you should suffer not a witch to live. You should curse him to die. That means it's, it's, an, it's an evidence that witches and wizards do exist and they are not there for your good. They are there to cause you pain. They are there to destroy your life. They are there to make sure that you do not advance in life. And God says, I should tell you, you know the witch. You know the person that has been causing you pain. You know the person that has been manipulating your destiny. You know them, but you just don't know they are the ones. Because they come to you in disguise. They come to you like someone who cares. They come to you like someone who wants to see you prosper. They are so close to you. The reason why they don't miss when they shoot at you is because they are so close. They know your every move. They know what you're going to do next. They know everything you're doing. And so they know what exactly to do when. God says, I should tell you that that witch... That wizard that is causing you pain, hurt, that is making you or keeping you stagnated is someone you know. So how do you solve this? After praying, I'm going to pray a warfare prayer for you. After that, <coughs> excuse me, you are going to keep your distance. You are going to decide to be discreet about your projects. Be discreet. Do not be in a haste to share your projects, not be in a haste to share your testimonies, not be in a haste to share the things that God is doing for you. Do not be in a haste to share them because that is what they use to attack you. If you do not share with them, they wouldn't know. They would just keep guessing what your next moves are. But when you share it with them, they know exactly when and how to attack you. I'm going to pray for you right now that if any witch or wizard that is manipulating your destiny the bible says do not permit him to live curse him to die that is what the bible says it's not it's not me saying suffer not a witch to live curse him to die therefore on that revelation and on that word of god i pray for you any witch or wizard causing stagnation in your life causing you to be moving in circular motion i curse them today in the name of jesus i curse them today in the name of jesus i paralyze every activity against you whatsoever they use to manipulate your destiny i render it useless in the name of jesus i render it useless in the name of jesus as you listen to these prayers and connect to them that manipulative spell over your life by that which or wizard expires in the name of Jesus. It expires in the name of Jesus. You are set free from their grip. You are set free from their manipulative nature in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And now the second step is to be discreet about your activities. You've got to be discreet about the progression you're making in life. You've got to be discreet about the things that God is doing for you. A time is coming. Do not be in a haste to share your testimonies, to share what God is, God is doing for you. A time is coming when you don't even have to share. It's going to speak for itself and it's going to be too late for anyone to affect or attack it in the name of Jesus God bless you and keep you may he cause his face to shine upon you may he be gracious to you and give you peace in the mighty name of Jesus amen God bless you Shalom